off stage, always a crazy time. I think like they always, the craziest times always involve like two girls. And uh, I remember one time I had one threesome, went back over to the other room. My man had called some other girls over and it was two girls and she pulled the fakie on us. She pulled the fakie. She used this motherfucker to get to the hotel, acting like, you know what I'm saying? Like acting like we were gonna do the double the double thing. And she, and she ended up flaking out and was on some like, well, we were really just doing it. We're just gonna do a threesome. We like, we caught the vibe together. He was like, oh, fuck this. I got, different, I got a girl in the other room. So we went over to the other room to fuck with the other chick. And I stayed with the two chicks. So I already had one threesome. So I, had, so I started having a threesome with them. Man, I looked down and I looked down I see blood all over my dick. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Like, this girl's having a pee. I didn't know which one, though, because, you know, you're fucking both. And I'm like, oh, no. So I'm like, man, one of you is on your period, yada, yada, yada. She was like, she was legit. Like, she was like, no, I'm not. I'm up here. So I don't know. I think she might have been a virgin. I don't know what happened. I don't know if she was a virgin. I don't know if she was lying. Whatever happened. But whatever was going on, they were both like, fuck it, keep going. So I was like, fuck it, kept going, man. <laughs> one time we were outside, and uh, I remember we were in Kansas. And we, we left the show, and um, I'd been hitting off with these girls the whole night or whatever like that. We were dancing in the club and shit like that. And we ended up getting in the car, or I got in the car, and they came up to the car, and it, you know, like, we're still at the, the nobody stage, so we ride in cars, it's like eight people fit into them, like the whole band in one car. You know, they were like, let us in, like, let, where are you guys going? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were like, I think, I don't know what happened, but we're, someone it was like, I'll let you in, I'll let you in here, or I'll let you, I'll let you know where we're going if you get in and suck MGK's dick. And so they both ended up getting in the car, both ended up doing it. Right in the middle of the street, a police car ended up rolling by and stopping. But then I, like, I, like we all kind of ducked down, shit like that, and they kept rolling. And then uh, we went to the hotel. I ended up getting two tires or something like that. And I just went, to, I just went to bed, and they, I think they ended up rolling with somebody else, with my guitar player, actually, I think. Speaking of the one of the funniest days was when we were in Vegas, and um, I met this stripper, and me and her ended up hitting it off well. Like she kept calling me Tommy Lee, and she looked just like Pamela Anderson, big fake tits, all this shit like that. She, we were supposed to link up. I ended up getting so wasted, man, so wasted. We, I think I went in, into their room, into into like my friend's room. And I woke all of them up and they were pissed. They're like, man, get the fuck out of here, man. I was apparently too tired to make it to my room or didn't have a room key or something. And um, I fell asleep in the hallway of the Hard Rock Hotel and the stripper ended up coming and she like, woke me up and I woke up and my dick was in her hands. She was giving me a hand drive, it was cool. That's always, that's always fun stories, man. It's just like, it's just, it's just, it's really just how you, how you give off shit. You know, we give off like the whole Miley Crew vibe so people just know what it is. I'm on my skateboard and I see this curb and like, I don't really know how to skate yet. It's just like, I just think it'd be cool to go off the curb because it looked like I could do it. They were just like, you know what I'm saying? What make you different? What you, what you doing? You ain't got no no uh, spikes on your shoulder. You ain't got, you know what I'm saying? Just coming at me on some on some wild shit. One thing that America fears the most is somebody who's booked and street smart. The advice that I would give anybody that's going through depression or dealing with depression is find a release. My release happens to be music.